as we can see, if for example I promise to give somebody something, and tomorrow the, poor, the, poor, the person comes and starts to insult me to do many, many the first thing as a human being I will say, what I suppose to give you, you will get it, you will no more get it because of what you, you will do. But God by his mercy, by his love, because he is God, he cannot change it. But he knows that whatever he promised us, there is the devil who will also hear what when God is promised some people, the devil also will hear that. And he will come now to follow so that it's not that you will not receive the promise of God. You will receive the promise of God, but you will, you will not use it in the way God wants you to use it. That's why you can see somebody asking for God to bless him for a wealth or for many, many material things. We can take the example. And later, he got the wealth. He worked about one month, they pay him. Whenever he takes the money, if the person is not with the Lord, he will go and spend the money outside. That's why you can see people, they are working. They don't know that God is the one who gives them wisdom or uh, uh, intelligence to work. Or He gives them strength to work. Good health to work. But when they get the money, they put it in their pockets. They go, for example, to Pacheville. And those people, you know what they used to say? Eat, drink, to know who you die. So they put that word in their, their mind. So they need to enjoy themselves. Somebody can come and tell, you are, you are still young, you need to enjoy yourself. You need to enjoy your life. Why? Because these are the things that the devil is putting. So that God, you know that God promised you and he don't want you to, your, to use the promise that God gives you in a very good way. One day we were discussing about the authorities. The Bible says that every authority comes from, from God. But somebody was asking questions. Today many people are suffering because of them. They will come when there is election time like in Malta now. They will promise people. They will come even the church singing, praising God, using the, the, the scripture. And people will think that they are with the God, they, they are with the Lord. And once they come in power, they then you will know, no more see them in the church. Because they are they get what they, 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 they were looking for. And most of them today you can find them into the coffin man. They are there. Worship the devil. Asking him to protect them. But the authority they have is not coming from the devil. If the devil today has to give people authority, I think the witchcraft, those who used to serve him, they're supposed to have that authority. But you can find that they are the ones remaining poor in this world. Those who are the magicians, you can see them, they have nothing. But those that are coming from the, the authority that are coming from God, I was watching one of the, the, the video. They were seeing how they initiate people into the the free message. And they were showing also they they used to ask people questions. What do you know about politics? What is your opinion regarding this thing? They want to see if you are a real politician. Because if I'm not a politician, whenever they ask me that question, they will find that I'm not the one. And they will not give me that, 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 that position. Or they will not uh, initiate me in the way I want them to, to initiate me. But once they found something that God gives it to you, and they initiate you so that they will tell you the way to use it. And that's why God is giving us so many principles when He promised us. Because these principles are there to help us so that the devil cannot deceive us. And because the devil cannot give anything to anybody. Because he did not create anything in this world. And he does not have any power in this world. But he's taking only the one people we have that coming from God. And he turned them so that he will they will use it 
in the way you want them to be, to be used. That's why we say that he is used to deceive people. What you have, you just use it. And you are thinking that he's the one who give it to you. But God is so kind and love. He don't want to promise somebody and you go, you use it in another way. That's why he gave to Joshua this kind of, uh, this principle. To be strong and to take courage. And to obey all the law that Moses gave, gave, gave to, 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 to him. If you have to, we have to go down. Do not let this book of the law, of the law, depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. So that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Because the promise of God, when God, when the time comes, the promise of God, God fulfills His promise. He wants it to be done according also to His will. That's why sometimes we are asking to God so many things, as we do, but we are not getting it. Why? Because our heart is very far from the Lord. That's why the Bible is saying in the book of uh, uh, James that we don't know how to pray. Because what we ask to God is just to sacrifice what we need, our body. But somebody, the one who prays according to the Spirit, he will know what, what, what God wants him to do. And whenever he asks to God, God will give him because he, he is in, on the line of the, 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 the way God wants people to do. God promised us. God also promised you and I. It can be a material thing. But the thing is, for us, our responsibility is not to go and to stay doing nothing. Uh, you know, I will not even speak it. Just in my heart, I know, ah, uh, tomorrow. Because it's the day God is going to fulfill His promise in my life. So I'm just waiting so I can live as I want. But tomorrow everything is going to change. But God wants us, God doesn't want us to be in that way. Why? Because you know the devil is there to defeat, to, to, to deceive us. That's why he gives us this principle. So that if we follow it, whenever we got the blessing of God, God fulfill his promise, we will know also how to use it. But if we don't know how to use it, even though God give us, tomorrow you can find somebody outside. But you can see also there are people nowadays, they have been asking for God to bless them. And the moment that God bless them, they become rich and the time for them to serve God is now, now short. Why? Because of the activity they have outside. And that activity also is not bringing glory to God. They say, ah, today now I become rich. Now I can do this. Now I can do this. So they start living now. And slowly, slowly they are going far from God. But God by His love, He don't want us to live like that. That's why He gives to Joshua this principle. So that we will always meditate. We will always pray, as my brother was saying here, that whenever is fulfilled his promise, is his promise, we will use it in a very good way. And the promise is not only the material things; it's also the spiritual things. If we have to look in the Bible, in the book of uh, Ephesians, chapter three. Anyone find it, you can read. Ephesians chapter, uh, chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. 
spiritual blessings in Christ. I read in Jesus' name, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For He chose us in Him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in His sight, in love, in, in love. So here we can find that when Jesus was on earth, he was speaking about the kingdom of God. Which people will be in the kingdom of God? And how will be the kingdom of God? And when he was speaking to to one of the Pharisees, he told him that you need to believe to the Son of God so that you will live because for God loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son so that whoever believes in Him will not perish but will have everlasting life. That is also a promise that if you believe in Jesus Christ you will have, a, you will have eternal life. You will live even though you, you die you will live again. The promise of God and the blessing of God is not depending on only in the material things. As many, many of us we used to hope. Because you can even see in most of our songs when we sing, we are just considering the material things. But God wants us to understand that His promise is first of all spiritual. That's why when he was promising Abraham, I will give you a son. And when he was explaining, he said, to you all nations will be blessed. So we can find that as we are here, you can be praying for a child to get this, to, to have a son or a child. And God give you. And later you have a son and finish. Maybe the son will go and maybe you don't know God. But when God was promising Abraham, it was not only for him to have a son who will die, but when he said, to him, all nations will be saved. So we can see that the promise of God is first of all spiritual. That's why here he's saying that he bless us. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in the heavenly pla uh, place or hands or uh, kingdom. So we can see if we have to compare with Joshua 1 and verse 3, he said that everywhere, every place you will put your feet, it shall be given to you. That means also everywhere you will be, you will be blessed in that place. So it was, first of all, he was not there. And he will go there. And God will bless him. And But here the Bible is saying that he has blessed us in the heavenly place. So we can see that whenever you believe in Jesus Christ, you become children of God. You are already blessed. Because God already blessed you in the in this place. So the life that we are living here is just to fulfill and to, to be used also with, uh, by, by Him. And there is a time that He will come to take all of us. That's why whenever we are looking about the, uh, the, the, the promise, don't only consider the material things. We need first of all to focus on the spiritual things. Because Jesus is alive. Because if we just focus our mind on the material things, that means we don't consider what Jesus said. Because he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. So that when I finish everything, I will come to take you to be where I am. 
So that is our promise that God promised us. Because God is the living God and all His promise, the Bible says that the promise of God is life. The promise of God is yes and amen. Even though it can take time, as many people are, hope, are thinking today, because you were saying, you, you are saying always, you are saying that Jesus will come when you come. People are saying, let us continue what, doing what, what, what we do. Because this scripture, 10 years ago, they were preaching us that Jesus will come. Even today, people are dying, people are coming in the world. But we as a Christian need to know that God promised, and His promise will be forever. And we come to a time that God will fulfill His promise. That's why we need to focus our mind in the spiritual things, first of all. That does not mean God, God used to promise people. Or somebody like uh, uh, Sister Marcel read to us about Anna. Anna could not have a son. And he was praying, he was crying until God gave her a son. And the son was used by God because God can never give you something that will distort you. Because God is not a human being. That he will give, for example, they give diamond to, to, to Ezekiel and Ezekiel goes he with the diamond outside Valeta. You see, I have a diamond. You know what will happen? Somebody will just, I can use my example, I will just come close to Ezekiel, you will not even see me. I got the diamond. He made a sleep. I ran. It will be too late for him. Because the good thing, whenever they give you, you need to keep it and to use it in a proper way. I remember in Congo there was a time a man was a governor, governor, in one of the places where there is diamond. And people who used to make business about diamond, they found a very big diamond and we were calling it Jamaver, green diamond. The guy sell already the diamond. When the governor hear about that, he report to the president directly that time Kabila before before they killed him. He made a deal Kabila got the guy, they arrest him, they arrest all the people, they say that it was illegal. Immediately he arrests him and he gives him cars and money and everything. Not to take the diamond, but just to tell him to bring the diamond bank back to the country that the diamond will stay in, in, inside the bank. And later, the one who reports to the president, they change him, they put him now, uh, PDG, the first president and the uh, director manager. To the plate to, for, for the company that we use for, 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 for diamond. And when we were in school, we were discussing why he has kept he, he accepted. Because being a governor in a place is more, much more honor than being PDG in, 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 for, for, for diamond. And we asked some of the politicians, they told us, you know, that place there is a lot of money. Because they found that the country needs diamond. And if such people are inside there, there is no escape. You will control everything. That's why Kabila took him from there and he put him there. It's not a mistake. That from that time we found that good things of diamond are very important in our lives. But God also promised us as Christians that we will be where He is. That's why Paul filled by the Holy Spirit in the book of Colossians says that if you believe in Jesus Christ you need to focus your mind the place where Jesus is why? because that is the place that no one can take it from you and no one will say for example if you go uh, somewhere somebody can take your place or you are waiting this is my time to enter somebody will immediately jump inside I remember last week we were going to the, the one of the office and there was a lawyer she came with people all of us we were just waiting she spoke to people who are working inside and they are taking just these people inside just these people 
But you can see that the promise of God, no one can take your place. When it comes to you, He will give it to you. But the important thing is, you need to follow the principle. Because through those principles, you will not escape. You will, you will not be deceived by the, 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 the devil one. You will never be deceived by the devil one. Why? Because Jesus is alive. And if, if we have to, to, to take the book of John 14, we can see also one of the promise Jesus promised us. That time he was with his disciples. And today we, we are now representing his disciples. Why? Because we believe in him. One to six. The Bible says that do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. In my father's house there are many homes. If it were not so, I would have told you, I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if you if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also you may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. If we have to go to to six, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That is the promise he gave us. And the promise also, all promise have this principle. And the principle that Jesus gave that we need to follow him. We need to follow his way. Because you can be promised by God that you, he will come and take you. But you go in a different way. You will not be with him. But we need to follow his principle. The principle that is giving us that I am the way, the truth and, and the life. No one can go to the Father except by me. So, we can find that the very important one for you, as you are promised, is to follow Jesus Christ. Not only to put your mind that, ah, I have a promise. You are just looking, ah, I have a promise. But put your mind in Jesus Christ. Because he is the way, the truth and the life. For you to reach the place where he is, you need to come by him. And the Bible is saying that he is the door that everyone must enter. So, that means there is no another way. There is no another thing that we can do for us to be with him. He promised us that he will be with us. And God also wants us to focus our mind to the promise of God. First of all to the spiritual one. And then we can see the material one. Why? Because Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all the rest will, give, will, will be given unto you. Why first of all the kingdom of God? Because the place, whenever you are... Because the Bible is saying for so clear here in the book of Ephesians that the spiritual blessing, He already blessed us in the heavenly places. So no one can go in heaven to take my place. No one can go and corrupt with God that, you know, I want to take brother Joe places. Even the devil cannot do it. Even though he used to accuse us to God, but he will not take our place. Why? Because Jesus is the one who justifies us. That's why as we are Christians, we need to focus our mind. We need also to know that we have, we have a promise. Last week we were working, I think maybe yesterday or the day before. Somebody we used to work together, he was like, uh, he's not happy about what is going on in his life. And I asked him, why today you are, so, you are thinking too much? Then he told me, if you are not thinking, you are not a real human being. So I could understand. But once we let him explain 
What that means? We found that there is no, he does not have any hope. Because me as a Christian, I have a hope. Because God promised me that I will be with him. So even though I'm suffering in this world, even though I'm looking for some of the things and I, I cannot get it for this time, but the hope that I have, the promise that God promised me, that will make me always happy. Because I know that if my time comes, if I have to, 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 to sleep, I will sleep and they will go and they tell me. And when Jesus comes, I will be also the man is here. That is the hope we have. That's why as Christians, we don't need to focus our mind in the world. But if you focus your mind in the world, for example, you can be looking for a wife for so many years, or for a man for so many years. But if you put it in your heart, whenever people look at you, they know that there is a point. But as you are a Christian, you need to focus your mind in heaven. Even though I don't get what I, I want here, but in heaven I will do it. Why? Because that is important. Because God can give you a, a wife today and maybe she's sick or she will, she's the one who will give, give, give sickness in, in the family. And very few times you all will be passed away. Or God can give you something to bless you and in very time you will find yourself into prison. Because I get more money and I can do anything and by mistake you do something and you find yourself into prison. But the important thing is the, the blessing of God. That is very, very, very important. Just to end, we can see uh, John 17, verse 14 to 16. That was the prayer of Jesus Christ. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, for they are not of the world anymore. Then I am, then I am of the world. Hmm? Anymore, then I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. Amen. That was the prayer of Jesus Christ. We believe in Him, even though we are living in this world. We can do everything the world wants for you to live, but we are not from this world. They will, we are just spending a moment. When the time comes, Jesus will come and take us. That's why we need to focus our mind in the spiritual things. We need to follow what God said to, to, to Joshua, to meditate day and night into the word of God, so that we will get succeed. And we also today, we need to take it in our life. That means, if you have a best friend, your first best friend must be the Word of God. Because the Word of God is true. It will guide you. Some, the, 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 the devil was saying that, 